So we back with another video. <clears throat> I was supposed to be giving y'all boys these in abundance. But we trying to get these videos out for y'all boys on the backup channel. But today we got y'all boys with an NFL ski. Today we got y'all boys with the ride receivers. And I will be honest, the video I dropped yesterday was a lot of hate. But today we're going to be uplifting a lot of guys. You know what I'm saying? I, w I went a little crazy before the season. But we're going to be we gonna be evening that out. I'm not going to lie. I got the tears wrong right here. We're going to correct that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't, we ain't that uplifting. But yeah, today we're going to be doing the best, NF or not the best, but the wide receivers of the NFL. Um, early in the season, it was some guys that wasn't even on the list, and today we got as many of them as we possibly can. If you guys do want more videos like this, I did the QBs, y'all like that. And then I came back with a ooh woo. Today we come in at y'all boys with the ride receivers. Y'all boys want the running backs, y'all want the pass rushers, the DBs, all this good stuff I can do. Just go ahead, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Without further ado. <laughs> Let's hop into it. All right, so straight into it. Best, best ride receiver in the league. I think we all should understand who's been the best ride receiver in the league this year. That shouldn't even really be discussed. I ain't even gonna lie. Even if you think it ain't this man, he deserves it. He deserves it. We ain't even gonna waste no time, beat around no bushes. I think you want to argue who's been the best team in the league. That's debatable. Best quarterback in the league. That's debatable this year. The best running back in the league. That may not be debatable, but hey, when it comes to that, we'll get there. But today, we do a ride receivers. I think Tyreek Hill, by far, in a way, has deserved it from the start to the finish. Or where we at right now, I guess I'm not really the finish. But yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and throw him in best. Now, for everybody else, we got the elites. So that's going to be the elite of the elite. Now, my elite may be different than your elite. I know on some of these tier lists, I be kind of tweaking, but I ain't going to lie. My elite ride receiver, QB, is not supposed to have a lot of people. Then you got good or great, top tier, however you want to categorize that. Pretty much just going to be pretty much people that's not in that upper echelon of players, but they right in between. And I think it's a lot of guys that's in between average wide receivers and that top of the line, number one for sure wide receiver. And then you got the mid that's pretty much average, just cool, you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Then you got trash, people that's just below average, pretty much. Simple as that. Hop into it. Adam Thielen. I think Adam Thielen had a good stretch in around like a beginning. He like kind of started off a little, uh, eh. Andy Dalton came in there. And then ever since Andy Dalton, and then he kind of slowed it down after they little buy. That's how I kind of think about it when it comes to uh, Adam Thielen. But when you think about it, he's on the Panthers. But also the reason why he's getting a lot of these targets is because he's on the Panthers. So I don't have to throw bro in mid. I, I don't think he was even that crazy coming into the year. And yeah, that's just kind of what it is. Now, A.J. Brown, at one point, he was low-key trying to go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was trying to, they was, him and Tyreek was having a little match for a, a little minute. But I will be honest, I always thought Reek was the better one because when you think about it like this, if you're a cornerback, you going against a team, who would you rather go against? I would much rather go against A.J. Brown. And that's not to this A.J. Brown it's just Tyreek is like a whole, he's like a whole different dimension to the game, man. It's just a lot of stuff with him that you just cannot, you just can't replicate. You know what I'm saying? You just can't replicate. I ain't gonna lie. But uh, AJ Brown, he's definitely elite. Now, I was fighting that before the year, but I'm gonna be honest. With all the injuries and the fact that he's played above his stand, well, not his standards, but he's played above what I feel like he was in the past. The consistency is kind of it, one thing. Because he kind of started the year, like, first two weeks, it was kind of rough. And then he was like, I need more touches. And then he started going crazy. He ended up breaking, like, a streak or something, like, with how many 125-yard games or something like that. And then he kind of, the past, like, when they start playing a little bit better teams, like, they played the Cowboys, they played the Eagles. Well, not the Eagles, but they played the Cowboys and the 49ers. It was not as crazy, but he still had solid games. But he had some pretty um weird drops. But I still think he's been elite. I still think he's been elite. Alec Pierce. Yes, I know his name. Yeah, Alec Pierce. I do be tweaking with some of these guys' names. But I'm looking. I pretty much know a lot of these guys' names. When we get to him, I'm gonna, it's going to be kind of tough. Because I, I don't know if I even remotely know who that is. I ain't going to lie. But Alec Pierce, um, he usually when you see the white uh, wide receivers, you actually kind of expect him to be shorter. I don't know why. But he's actually pretty tall for I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, we're just gonna say I don't think he's trash. But I don't think he's mid tier. I just gotta put him trash. I just don't think he's a average wide receiver. It's tougher to be an average wide receiver in the NFL right now. It just is. 
Like it's a passing lead. Usually people get like two thousand rushing yards. That like you usually you would see somebody have the top rushing yard person be higher than the top receiving yard. It's in a whole different lead now. Reek is on pace was on pace at one point to have like twenty three hundred receiving yards. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a whole different league now. But um Alan Lazard, yeah, I don't think he's been mid. I'ma just say he's been trash. I mean, it's not like he's been trash, but like that's just the tip we gotta put him in. Um A Rob. He barely even really played. But if you can't really play on a team like the Steelers, I don't know if it's really that, though, because I really do love Baby Tay or Tay Jr. I'll freak, I kind of forget at this point which one is who. And then you got uh, Pickens on the other side. So it's kind of tough. And then they also be playing that Calvin Austin boy or guy. But I'm going to have to put him in trash because, like, I want to say he's mid, but I feel like um, Thielen has done too much this year. To, for, to be in the same tier as Allen Robinson. Maybe if Allen Robinson is on a team like the Panthers and he gets more targets, gets more t- snaps, he's going to be in mid. So I'll put him in mid. I'll put him in mid. You can give him that context. But, um, yeah, I don't think his offense has been that good either way. So, yeah. But Amari Cooper, I think Amari Cooper, Amari Cooper has been weird. I, I will say this. Um, It feels like he's been given, like, a whole different role. It's like he's been only getting the ball really majority on, like, deep threat type plays. He's not really getting hit in the intermediate. He's really not getting hit underneath at all. He's only getting hit maybe under intermediate and then deep. That's really what it feels like for uh, Amari Cooper, to be honest. Um, So for him to be able to do that for pretty much majority of the year so far with kind of a weird quarterback situation all year, I'm going to put him good. I think he's been pretty solid. I feel like he's always going to be one of the best route runners in the league and stuff like that. And, yeah, I'll put Amari Cooper in good. I don't think he's had, like, the craziest stats or anything, but I think the talent that he is and the way and the scheme that he's kind of been in where, he, where it's been more of a run-heavy scheme anyway, but the throw, like, the, the options he's had in terms of the get the ball, it's just not been there. Um, Amon Ra has been easily elite this year. A lot of people are saying me – Telling me he's elite, he's elite, he's elite. And I was like, yeah, he's an elite slot. But I think it's time to get this guy his, his flowers. He's been one of the, the best wide receivers in the league this year. Now, who's been better, him or A.J. Brown? I think at one point it was a real discussion for some people to try to say A.J. Brown had, like, he was, you could say he was the best wide receiver in the league this year. I don't think that's been a discussion you could have with Amon Ra. I think Amon Ra has been in a discussion, maybe you could say top three, top five, but I don't think he's been in a discussion for the best it went Reek ever this year. I don't think AJ Brown really fully deserved it either, but I, it was definitely a point in time when he was getting all the 125s, he was getting like two TDs with him too. It was definitely a time and point where people was trying to push that one. I ain't gonna lie, it definitely was. But um, yeah, Amon Ra... Yeah, I'm going to have to throw him a lead. He does do a lot more of his stuff in the slot. So it's kind of tough to put him over a guy like A.J. Brown. But, yeah. Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks has been solid. I put Brandon Cooks. He's like the number two wide receiver for the Cowboys. And the Cowboys, when they started getting, after that little bye, they have got they got hot. And when I'm saying they, I mean Dak. And CD's numbers went crazy. But Brandon Cooks has had some pretty good games, too, in there. I'm going to put him in mid, though. I don't think he's been on the same tier as, like, Amari Cooper, but I think he's been in that tier. Now, this is another one of those Tay guys. You know what I'm saying? Now, he don't have a Tay in his name, but I'm going to be honest. If you know who Tay really is, that's why we call him a baby Tay or Tay Jr. But when it comes to Ayuk, I've been believing in Ayuk for so long since he was a rookie. And I ain't going to lie. He's having a great year. I think... I don't think it will be a stretch for anyone to say he's been elite, in my honest opinion. I've been saying for years he's the best wide receiver on the 49ers. People was telling me Debo. And I ain't going to lie, Debo the past two weeks, they need to tell him, man, hey, Eagles, y'all got that boy ramped up. (laughs) That man been playing crazy. But uh, Ayuk, for the whole year, route running, his ability to get separation, You know what I'm saying? It's really, injury is like the only thing. After the catch, he has everything. Ayuk has everything. He has everything. 
He literally has everything. He's one of those wide receivers that literally has everything. Um, it just is he at the top of good, or is he at bottom of elite? If we basing it off of strictly this year, I think you have to give Ayuk elite. But if it's everything and some stuff in the past, then it's just good. I think you have to just put him good. But I'm gonna put him elite. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a bias. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, Barrios. Um, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him right here. I don't think he deserves mid, but. I think he has been better than Allen Robinson because Allen Robinson hasn't really done anything. He hasn't really had the chance, but yeah. Now, Calvin Ridley, this is a guy that I thought was going to have a great year off of the training camp stuff, off of preseason stuff, but this is this is, this is is another year of proof where it comes to a lot of guys that preseason training camp, none of that shit really matters, man. You got to see what they're going to look like when they get to the real games. It's a couple QBs, wide receivers, running backs, but well, that's just a fact. And Calvin Ridley, man, um, when it comes to dropping touchdowns, the consistency being an it, like, man, Calvin Ridley has just not been it in person in terms of consistency. And I've always been, like, on this. I've always been on this other side of the Calvin Ridley guys where it'd be like, I'm not really a hater, but it's like when it came to Julio leaving and people, when Julio was there, people was trying to argue if he was better than Julio. Like, that was crazy to me. And they was saying that he was going. It was his time now to take over for real because he he's cause Julio going now. It's his turn now. And I was never a full believer in that. But yeah, I'm gonna have to say I think he's still a tier above these guys for sure. He just hasn't put it all together. It's just the consistency isn't there, like. I don't think he should be an elite wide receiver though. So it just doesn't matter. I, I, I don't have a clue who the hell this is though. I'm I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have no clue who this is. I have no clue who this is. I'm not even gonna try to know who this is. Um, yeah, we just gonna throw you at the bottom of the list, gang. I, it's just as simple as that. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, CD Lamb, CD Scam. Um, this is another guy that had a a crazy stretch. It's just the consistency has not been there for the full year. But I do think. If you wanted to say that CeeDee Lamb is better than A.J. Brown or Amon Ra, I would not be mad at it at all. I think really when it comes to CD, it's about him getting the ball. But, yeah, I'm going to put CD right here. I think I would personally rather CD than Amon Ra. Amon Ra does have that consistency, but I think I, you, can do, you can put CD in the slot. You can put him on the outside. You can put CD all over the place. He's kind of like uh, Ayuk, where he got the good route running. He got the good after the catch. He got good hands. He got pretty much it all. He got it. He got it all pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Like he has it all. I ain't gonna lie. CD's one of those guys, in my opinion, that really does have it all. Um, Chase Claypool. Let's just throw a hit. Throw that guy in trash. Chris Godwin. I think Chris Godwin has had an okay year. I think I would put him over Calvin Ridley. I don't know if I can put him over Amari Cooper, but I'll put him over Calvin Ridley. Chris Olave. Chris Olave is another one of those guys where, like, he kind of just needs to get the ball more. QB situation has been pretty weird this year. Um, but I think if we had to say the best person in good so far that I would rate, it, have, it would have to be Chris Olave. I think Chris Olave, he just has been the best player in good so far. Uh, Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk is... A guy that I would say has been the best wide receiver on the Jaguars. That feels weird to put him in in um, a tier of good. But I think Christian Kirk... I don't want to... I can't put him over Amari Cooper. I'm going to put him right there. I think Christian Cook, Kirk has been really good. Now, he is really slot-oriented. I will say that. But I think he's been... You know what I'm saying? I think he's been pretty good. Now, I think we felt the after effects of him getting hurt. To be honest, the past two weeks, but I think Christian Kirk has been pretty good this year. I think he's so important to that Jags offense, in my opinion. I think the Jags would feel it way more if Christian Kirk got hurt than if Calvin really got hurt. That's how I look at it, um, to be honest. But it's kind of funny how the Jaguars wide receiver room has been like, like for most of the year, Zay Jones was hurt, um, and then as soon as he's like starts getting healthy, 
Now, Christian Kirk is hurt. It's kind of funny. But this is a guy that's kind of let me down. I expected a big jump out of him. Um, but when Jordan Love started to heat up again at this lately, Christian Watson started playing good. Now, Christian Watson, last week, uh, Jordan Love had a little struggle game. I think that was like a sneak game for the Packers. I ain't going to lie. I think they kind of got a little bit over their heads, a little bit with the Lions win, the Chiefs win. And when they got overconfident, looking ahead, um, everybody's saying they're going to win out and stuff like that. And they're a young team, I guess you could say, on offense. I don't know how young they are defensively, but they, they was looking ahead. They was looking ahead, and they took they they took they they took their matchup for granted, and they went out there and lost. Kind of just simple as that. But um, Christian Watson didn't play that game. The two games before that, Christian Watson was looking pretty nice, though. He was looking pretty nice. He was looking more to what I was look, looking for. Now, I will say last year, he didn't really start off the last year really well. Maybe he was missing games with injury or he just wasn't playing. And then when he started playing towards the end of the year, getting PT, he was looking crazy. So I don't know if he's like a mid-season merchant. I don't know if that's what it is. But Christian Watson, in my opinion, I'm going to put him right here with uh, Calvin Ridley where uh, I just believe in Christian Watson a little bit more than I do Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley may be more talented. I ain't going to lie. But, hey, they both inconsistent to me, and they both, I have high expectations for both. I have bigger expectations for Calvin Ridley, believe it or not, this year. Because I that preseason, or not even preseason, the training camp videos was moving me. Now, Christian Cup. Cooper Cup. I don't know where that came from. Cooper Cup. Um, did I just mix Christian McCaffrey? Forget it. But Cooper Cup, man, um, ride receiver. Majority in the slot. Now, this is a very interesting one. I don't know if Cooper Cup has been worse or the inconsistency of Matthew Stafford or I don't know what it is, man. Like, Matthew Stafford has always been a guy that loved to have, like, a number one, like a for sure number one. Like, he wants to go to that guy majority of the time. He's always been like that. He was with that with Megatron. He was with that with Cup. But with the Puka and Cup combo, it has looked kind of weird. Because if you watch the games, it's like once he gets a rhythm going with Cooper Cup, then he starts throwing some bad balls to Puka. But when, in a game where he has a good rhythm with Puka, he'll throw some bad balls to Cooper Cup. So I don't know if it's really one or the other. Because he feels like Cooper Cup seems like the same guy. He has the same hands, he ain't route running. Maybe he doesn't get open as consistency. But when they run that, when they run those couple plays, when you know it's supposed to be for Cup. Cup manages to do his job and get wide open, and he can get those yards as a catch. Now, he's not kicking it to the house, but, yeah, Cooper Cup, I don't know. It's a weird one. He's a weird one. He Like, if you're a fantasy guy, it looks worse, but I feel like he's kind of still the same guy. I feel like he's kind of still the same guy. I'm putting him out of respect for Cup. I'm putting him. I think Amara has been the better slot guy this year, especially if you want to use stats-wise. But I can't do I can't do the IU and I'm a big IU guy. I can't put the IU over Cup. I can't do it. Um, Cortland Sutton, Cortland Sutton has made some pretty clutch catches this year. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like the Broncos turnaround has really been more so defense, but Cortland Sutton has been a a big spearhead for that on offense as well. So, Cortland Sutton is tough. I say Cortland Sutton is right here. I think he's a good wide receiver. He's not gonna be that wide receiver that creates the separation. That's just not what he is. But when it comes to those 50-50 balls, he's one of the best in the league at doing so. Curtis Samuel. I think he's just mid. He's just cool. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him behind Adam Thielen. Darius Slayton. I think he's mid. I'm gonna put him right here. Darnell Mooney. Darnell Mooney is a weird one. Um, I not too crazy about Darnell Mooney, but I'll put Darnell right here, right behind Curtis Samuel. Now, Devontae Adams. Now, if you don't know who Tay is, that's Tay. That's Tay. That's the real Tay. Um, year in, year out, I always say year in, year out that, uh, Devontae Adams is the best wide receiver in the league. Now, in my heart of hearts, who do I really think is the best wide receiver in the league? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's still Devontae Adams to me. Now, if we say in terms of this season, it's not really a, a case I can't even say for this, man. I mean, be honest now. You can say all the stuff with his coach. You can say all the stuff with his quarterback. But what Tyreek is doing over there in Miami, 
man, I just don't know how you can say it. But if I want to say everybody else, <laughs> that's not really a debate for me. You know what I'm saying? Put put Tay on that Eagles team. Come on, man. Put Tay on that Eagles team. Come on, man. Put Tay on that Cowboys team. Come on, man. Put Tay on that Lions team. Put Tay on that Rams. Put Tay on the 40 damn Niners. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Put Tay in that nigga Reek role. It's not going to be the same. That's the only one I don't think it will be the same. So I can't do it. So we're going to keep it moving. If you don't if you don't agree with that, hey, just look at what Tay did last year. You know what I'm saying? When it was just everything was smooth. You know what I'm saying? Everything was smooth. Nothing extra going on. You know what I'm saying? This man didn't play with like three different QBs this year. He didn't have two different coaches this year. Cut my man some slack. It's a, it's a it's a different little year. They had like 60 points. I was getting scared at one point. I'm like, bro, they got like 42 points. Tay don't got no TD. But he had to, you know what I'm saying? He had to get his TD ski. You feel it. But uh, DeAndre Hopkins, I ain't going to lie. I think D-Hop's starting to mess with Levis. I ain't going to lie. I like Levis. I like Levis. I like Levis. His first game, uh, I think he kind of had some Ricky moments in them next couple games. I think the next game after that one wasn't bad. But a, a couple, a two after that one was a little rocky. But the last two, I, I, I've kind of, I've kind of liked Will Levis, especially the last one against the Dolphins. But I think D Hop this year, I think him and Amari Cooper are right there together. I don't think D Hop is elite per se, but in terms of what he does, in terms of the catching the ball, he's still one of the best catchers of the ball in the league. Hands down. But everything else, he's not that same guy after the catch that he used to be, in my opinion. Um, the only thing that I really think he's still a lead at is for sure the hands. It's not it's, You can't to name me three guys with better hands than D-Hop in the lead right now. It's just simple as that. But, yeah. Debo. Now, again, like I was saying, Debo has been playing out of his mind the past two games. I'm not going to lie. Debo is a really, really tough person to scheme against because he can, he can he can take a slant to the house. He can play the deep ball. He can play the running back. Like, Debo can really do it. He can do it. Now, I ain't going to lie. You can do that too. Don't get it twisted. I think they use Ayuk as more of the the intermediate guy, deep guy. They've used Ayuk like that the whole year, and Debo's been like the short to intermediate kind of guy. And if – even ever going to intermediate. Like, they don't do it as nearly as much as Ayuk. But, yeah. Um, Debo. I'm going to put Debo behind Alave. I think Alave has been more consistent this year. But I think both of them kind of just been inconsistent this year. Demario Douglas. Come on now. I'm a Patriots fan. You know, I, I, mess, with, I mess with him. I mess with Demario. I ain't going to lie. Um, I mess with bro. I ain't going to lie as a Patriots fan. We don't have too many good wide receivers. But I got to keep it a bean with you, gang. Um, it's just kind of tough for me to put you anywhere higher than here. I can't put you over Thielen. I can't put you over Cooks. I can't put you on these guys' level. But I do like, I do like it. I do like what I've seen out of the young guy. Now he is playing with the Patriots, the offensive uh scheme, the quarterbacking. It's just not been that. But if Bailey's, I want to see a good Bailey Zappy game with Demario Douglas because Bailey Zappy had a good week last week. I ain't gonna lie against the Steelers. And the Steelers are good defense. The Steelers are just clutch. So that second half, I wasn't surprised about at all. Um, I know, bro, he's on the Bills, but I do not know his name. It's just not hitting me. It's just not hitting me right now. And I'm not, I've been looking at him this whole time and hoping I could remember it. It's not hitting me. So we just going to keep it moving. And I know who he is. I'm going to put him. I ain't going to do it to you, Mooney. I ain't going to lie. Um. Devontae Parker, he's another one of those 50-50 jump ball guys. I'm going to be honest. Those 50-50 jump ball guys, it's an art. It's definitely an art. It's definitely an art. But I'm not a big 50-50 jump ball guy. Like, it's just not what it, it's just not who I am. I just never I, – I believe in separation, route runners, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. He's not going to really create no type of separation. So – I think him and uh, Allen Robinson probably on the same level. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. We bringing you down, gang. You kind of messing up this list, gang. I ain't gonna lie. You kind of messing up this list. Ah, I think that's where we do it. I think that's what we do it. I think that's what we do it. Okay, uh, Devontae Smith. This is another Tay, but I don't really have him in the Tay echelon or lineage, you know, where we got 
Devontae, then we got Deontay, then we got Ayuk. Uh, Keenan Allen be in there sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But now, De- De- Devontae, he kind of came in a year late, so he's not really in the lineage. But I may gotta, I may gotta tie him in somehow in there. But Devontae Smith, uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. All right, had to zoom in, but um, Devonta Smith, tough one. I will not lie because when it comes to him, I feel like if he was on his own team, he may be doom 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 knocking on the door. But I'm gonna put him behind Alave. I don't think I can put him over Alave. I don't think I can put him over Alave because I haven't seen him do it. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen him do it. I thought Alave would have took a step back without MT, but he was. Full fledged the number one, even with MT there this year when he was there. So yeah, and then Baby Tay, I think Baby Tay, he's had a pretty weird year where he started the year, instantly got hurt first game, came back had a couple good games, then he started he started to have a little rocky, but that was kind of, like he's he's got, he's had good games even with how bad the Steelers offense is. So yeah, it's just kind of weird, but it's, it's it was kind of obvious at one point that he's not trying to be on that team for real. Uh, he, like, when the, it was the fumble, the week before that, whatever week that was where it was the fumble, it was the week before that where he started noticing that it's like, he's not really trying to be, he was arguing with the staff and stuff like that, but then the next game, he's like a fumble, he looks at the ball and just walks away, that was crazy, that was crazy, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if I can co-sign that one, Tay, but hey, he is a Tay, he's been a Tay, the only issue I've ever had with Deontay is injuries, that's a pretty big one, but this one may be even bigger, dropping the ball, that's all it is. That's my only issue. Now, he had one year where he showed a huge improvement on dropping the balls. I ain't going to lie. He really, I don't think he had a single catch the whole year that year. And then this year, I ain't going to lie. He kind of back to dropping them balls. But I will be honest. If Tay going to do one thing, he going to route run and he going to create some separation. And he going to make it easy for that quarterback to get him the ball. And he always going to be good at that. But one thing I will say this year that he's gotten better at is like the deep ball. He's, he's gotten better at the deep ball this year. I will say that. But it's just like he he drops the easy stuff. I don't understand at all what goes on in his head with that one. But um, baby Tay, I'm looking in this good to see where we gonna put him, and I'm gonna keep it a whole stack with you. Now I know people are gonna be mad at this one, but I'm putting baby Tay right here, and I don't care what y'all got to say about it. That's all bias. I ain't even gonna lie. I just can't put a I can't put a take too much lower than that. Y'all gotta keep it a bean with me. Uh DJ Chark. I ain't gonna lie. If you play for the Panthers, man, you dinner gotta go trash. Like you dinner gotta go trash. But he, he you know what I'm saying? He had the high trash. Now, DJ Moore. DJ Moore is a guy that's having a really underrated season. If it wasn't for one of my guys being a, a Bears fan, I ain't gonna lie. I would be even probably, well, it kind of would be impossible to sleep on that Count Manders game, but I ain't a lot of consistency. I ain't know how consistent he was being. He he being pretty consistent. He being pretty consistent. Now, the thing with DJ Moore is he's on a bad team. I don't think his quarterback is good, and he's still doing that. Now, I ain't trying to overreact to DJ Moore. But something in me want to put him in elite. I want to throw him right above Ayuk. So you know what we going to do? <laughs> we going to bring Ayuki down. Sorry, Ayuk. It just has to be done. And we're going to throw DJ Moore right there. Because I feel like that's where he should be. I think that's legitimately where he should be. Now, what we going to do now is we're going to flip the script. Mm. Boom. 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 Yeah, cause I don't know. I, I don't think these guys can be in the same tier as DJ Moore and IU. So we're gonna we're gonna have to drop some of y'all guys down. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. And then we're gonna drop these guys down right here. <clears throat> Out of bias, you're gonna stay up there, Douglas, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, that's how we're gonna do it for now. That looks the tiers now look tiered. Like it looked like tiered. It looked tiered now. It looked tiered. Now I ain't gonna lie. I probably gotta put you. Nah, that's bias. I ain't gonna lie. We, we y'all, y'all good with that? You know what I'm saying? Y'all good. All right. This is this is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Looking at everything looks swell besides that one piece. Now you could also argue he's been better than Cooper Cup, but yeah. 
if we talking about just this year, Cup may gotta be here. We just talking this year. But I tried to add the context to it. So, nah, I'm putting them there. Uh, DK. DK is the definition of inconsistent. I don't understand it at all. Like, if like I don't even need what he did in the Dallas game every game. But can you give me, like, five catches? Maybe even not even five. But if you just give me, like, four catches, like, average four catches a game, like, around 75 to 80 yards and a TD. Or not a TD a game, but, like, he should be a TD guy. He should be a guy that gets a lot more yards than he gets catch. He shouldn't be, like, a, a seven catches, 70 yards, and maybe a TD. Like, he should be one of those guys that get, like, maybe three catches, but if he get three catches, he damn near at 75 yards with a TD. You know what I'm saying? Damn near at 100 yards with a TD. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of guy DK should be. He's 6'3", strong as hell, fast as hell, jump high as hell. Like, his name, he, should be able to, he should be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. He should be one of them, but hey, it what it is. Um, DK, I don't think I can put DK in mid, but I want to. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta stop the cap with him. I ain't gonna lie. That's just this is throwing off the list. I ain't even gonna lie. He throwing this list off. I gotta throw him down there. DK. Nah, Deontay was throwing that joint off. I ain't gonna lie, he was throwing me off too hard. I wanted to cap, but I can't cap that hard. Sometimes the cap fight back, you know what I'm saying? So I had to stop the cap. But um, DK. Mm, that's tough. DK is a tough person to rate, man, because like he got all the traits, but he no, he's like route running, like terrible, awful. Now, if you tell him to run a go, he gonna run that go better than anybody in the league besides Tyreek. Damn near, maybe even better. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I seen some. I seen Ty, DK supposedly be, been the got the highest track speed in the league this year. So I, I mean, like shit, he may be. He may be. You know what I'm saying? He may be. But nah, you tell him to run anything but a post, a go. Get him off the field. Get him off the field. I don't want to see this nigga run no slants, no pose. I just want to see a go for real. I don't even want to see nothing else, to be honest. Um, nigga got no wiggle whatsoever. But DK, I'm looking at it. He got to go here. Ah, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, I think this is a... Now I'm just confused. Okay, this is Elijah Moore. This must be Donovan Peoples Jones. Who the fuck is this then? Nigga, is that is that the Grant? I think that's Grant. That has to be Grant. I was gonna say Jeremy Grant, the NBA player, but that's not his name. It's it's Grant though. I know he's super fast. He's small and he's fast. This has to be DP. This has to be DPJ. Right? If this is not DPJ, okay, I don't know. But he hasn't really done anything this year. So, yeah, lower him. I ain't gonna lie. I, the, the cap has to stop. It has to stop. It has to stop. DPJ, I haven't seen anything from you, gang. So I'm gonna put you here. Drake London. Now, Drake London is a guy that, honestly, his QB is for sure holding him back. Because, man, he got some flashes this year. Like, out of all the second year guys, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like London had the best flashes this year in terms of like Alave, Garrett Wilson. Those are guys that's like uh, already like we kind of already know those guys are going. Those are guys that are the top two. But London, I ain't gonna lie. London has had some pretty like good flash this week. Like especially this past week when he played and the dude pretty much. The cornerback looked like the right receiver. It didn't look like London picked the ball off. Like, yeah, London, London looked. He just looked more like the high pick that he was supposed to be this year. Even though his quarterback has kind of held him off, in my opinion. But yeah, I think him and Pitts has been better this year than they were last year. Now Pitts hasn't been as good as he was his rookie year, but that's top for another day. Um, London. 
Even still. I ain't gonna lie. This I ain't gonna lie. Some of this shit I don't even fully believe. I'm looking at this shit. Hold on. I don't even believe that shit for real. I don't believe that shit for real. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, okay, okay. So, Drake, you gotta go here. I'm putting you there. Because, like, he inconsistent, but it's not really his fault. So, I'll put him there. Elijah Moore, I think Elijah Moore has had a solid year, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Elijah Moore here. Yeah, I'm gonna put him there. Gabe Davis. Gabe Davis has not had as good of a year this year as he did the past two years, in my opinion. But I think he's been cool. He's been cool. I'm going to put Gabe Davis right there with Brandon Cooks. I think Brandon Cooks has been better, though. Um, Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson. I think Garrett Wilson has had a pretty underrated year, honestly. He's been pretty consistent in terms of catching the ball, yards. Uh, I mean, it's just not been touched now. It was like a couple. I think it was like 50-plus possessions or something like that that the, the Jets had without getting a touchdown. Or That may even not have been possession. It may even been like halves or something like that. But, bro. They had went a good little stretch of quarters without having a touchdown. It was something crazy. But so if you kind of mad at his touchdown numbers, it's kind of tough when his whole team, like the quarterback not getting a touchdown in no way, the running backs not getting TDs, the defense not getting TDs. Like there nothing was getting touchdowns. I don't think it was even counting the defense, but you know what I mean. So Garrett Wilson, who would I rather, Garrett Wilson or Chris Olave? I probably would say Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson or Ayuk or DJ Moore. That's what we stop. <laughs> stop the count. Stop it. Stop the count. Stop it. <laughs> Pickens. Okay, Pickens. Uh, that's a tough one, game. Hey, so, hey, once you start getting a couple people in here, it's tough. It gets real tough. Because what? Pickens. Now, I was, this is a guy I had high putting you up here in this mid tier for sure because i had high hopes for you but you're not better than tay i think that's perfect for you right there i ain't gonna lie see see that was easy once i simpled it out that was easy uh hunter Renfro, i ain't gonna lie halfway through the season i was wondering if he was even still in the league man because i'd be watching the raiders games i don't even like beginning of the year i wouldn't really even see him bro for real and in the past couple weeks i've been seeing him more but i don't know what happened to bro like it was like, before last year, bro was a hooper. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But, yeah, we're going to throw you in. We're going to throw you right there with DPJ. I think this is the Isaiah Hodgins dude. Before I forget Jalen Hyatt's name, because I've was i been looking at him, and it just hit me, his name. What are we ranking you? I think he a great deep threat, but besides that, I haven't really seen much out of him, and I haven't really seen the Giants really use him in any really other ways, for real. So I'm going to put Jalen Hyatt. Right there with Darnell Mooney. Um, Hodgins? I think Hodgins is kind of underrated, but I don't want to overrate him. I'm going to put him right there. I'm going to put those two together. Oh, my gosh. I literally skipped, bro, because I knew bro name. But this is number one. I know this is number one. Right? This is number one? If this is not number one and this is the other dude, then... Yeah, both their names are flipping my mind. I don't even see sit. I don't even see Scary Terry. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. But um, this is a dude I had. I had pretty. I didn't have crazy hopes like Pickens and these two. But I, I pretty much expected like a a good solid floor. And for that quarterback to be having a year that he's having, and really him and Scary Terry not really having a crazy year for real, it's kind of surprising. Because at one point that quarterback was like leading the league in passing yards. Now, I always understood. That was because he had one extra game in pretty much more the league because he had the the Washington, Washington Commanders had the week fourteen by like so it was kind of understood why but with that being said I'm gonna put him I'm gonna put him right here I think he's been right there I don't think he's been better than Baby Tay but I think he's been right there. Okay, now, I'm going to be honest. Jacoby Myers have had a pretty solid year, to be honest with you. I think he's been getting TDs. 
Um, he's had the same thing with D- with Tay when it comes to being him in and out. But I think I think Jacoby Myers have had a solid year. I'm gonna put Jacoby Myers honestly, put him right here. I think he's been solid. You know what I'm saying? He's been solid. Jamar Chase. Now Jamar Chase is is another one of those guys that's been elite and game in game out. I'm gonna be honest. There's not too many people I'd rather have on my team than Jamar Chase at wide receiver. Um, just kind of simple as that, personally. Um, I don't think he's had a crazy season. He's dealt with some injuries at QB and stuff like that. I think that backup the past two weeks has been pretty good. I think um, I understand now why he was saying early in the year, um, if you hurt, just don't play. I felt like that was disrespectful, but the Jake Browning boy been hooping. So I, I can kind of see what he said was saying now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Jameson Williams, speed, speed kills. Um, is that a bad joke? Uh, Davis and Williams, uh, I don't think that, I'm not really, I'm not really seeing it with him on a consistency basis, but the speed is there for sure. It's just like, I don't know if they're just not using him. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's just, it's just something going on. Cause they have great play calling with the lines. I feel like the last two weeks has been kind of weak or not even two, like the last couple weeks lines wise, it's been kind of weird. I, the lines are kind of scaring me because. I thought that that game against the Ravens might have been fluke. But I ain't going to lie. That offense is kind of scaring me a little bit. Maybe it's easy to scheme against. But I always I said before the year that the Lions' weapons ain't that crazy to me. They don't jump off my screen weapons-wise. Like, yeah, they got Amon Ra, but besides Amon Ra, it's not crazy. Now, they did end up having Sam Laporta as well. They running back duo has been really good. Um, but besides those two, like, I guess receiving threats. Like I feel like Jamison Williams should be able to just take that. Now Josh Reynolds has stepped up in some games, but I feel like he should have, you know, what I'm saying been able to take this role. I don't know, especially after he got off his suspension. I don't know, but I'm gonna put bro for now right here with Dar- the Darnell Mooney's of the world and stuff like that. To be honest, he hasn't really shown me enough yet. To be honest. Okay, this is the Jennings dude off of the uh, 49ers. Jawan Jennings, I think, something like that. I'm going to put him right here with him. These two, like, kind of fit each other, personally. Okay, JSN. I think he's had a better couple of last couple of weeks. I think he's right there with Thielen. Yeah, it's been crazy. I don't I don't really see the hype, for real. He just looked like he's just really been in the slot for the most of the part. He not, it's going to be tough for him to get touches, I understand, because they got DK, Tyler Lockett. And he's been getting more touches as the seasons went on, but he's been cool. Nothing crazy to me. Um, I think this is Jaden Reed. I'm pretty sure this is Jaden Reed. Jaden Reed seems like a, um, he seems like a 49ers type wide receiver. I'm not going to lie. He seems like a, a IU type guy that you can put him in a lot of situations. He can, he can do the uh, the jet sweeps. He can line up in the backfield. You can give it to him short. You can give it to him in the intermediate. You can go long with him. You can you can give it to him to get the ball after the catch. You can do a lot with him, personally. He seems like one of those type of wide receivers. I feel like those gadget type guys that you can do a lot with them. I think those wide receivers are definitely for the past couple of years have been on the come up, and I think he's just like one of the next ones to be honest. Um, but. He hasn't really done too much this year. I'm going to put him right here. I'm going to put him right here, to be honest. Uh, now, this is a guy that's been in- interesting this year, Jalen Waddle. Now, this is a guy I really think he would be, like, if you want to talk about Smith, on his own, bro, Waddle on his own team would be crazy. He will be on. He will be debatably in that, like, he'll be right here if he was on his own team. He'd probably be right here if he's on his own team. I'm gonna put him right there. I'm not gonna lie. I think, I think Waddle, man. I don't think y'all, y'all understand how wild Reek is. Like, if I'm the quarterback for Reek, I ain't looking nowhere else either, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not looking nowhere else either, man. That he's somewhere over there. I promise. I promise. I don't even blame Tua for that. Like, I really like. That. It makes sound. Dis- I'm not blaming him for none of that. Like, I'm doing the same thing. I feel him. To be honest, but if I'm being for real, where he should rank this year, I'd probably put him right here. Because, like I said with D- Smith, 
he ain't really proved that he could be the number one yet. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't want to put him somewhere. But I think he really could be right in between DJ Moore and IU. I feel like he's really right there in that area. I think he's right there with these two guys. I think Smith is right there with those two guys. But I don't think saying that he's with these two guys is a bad thing. I think these are, like, the raw receivers in the league are really, really good. Like, they just really are. It just kind of is what it is. It's kind of funny how all these guys are kind of young, though, looking at it. And these are kind of like the guys that has been doing it, except for Chase. Chase is, Chase is kind of young, but you know what I'm saying? He's kind of on a different level. Um, Judy. Judy is a guy that people have been waiting on it to come. It's not coming. It's just, I don't think it's coming. I just don't think it's coming. I don't see it. I just don't think it's coming. Um, yeah, I just don't know. Yeah, I, I, like, see, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm there putting Judy right here, man. I, I'm over the Judy stuff. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm really like full fledged over it. Like, I'm not I'm not seeing it. What people see. I'm just not seeing it at all. Uh, Mingo, again. If you play for the damn Panthers, you damn near deserve to be in this tier. Um, where we throwing you? I'll throw you right there with uh DJ Chart. Okay. Now Addison. Jordan Addison. I, this is a guy I had the highest faith in for the uh, draft, and I think, yeah, he's 2.0. I think I, I don't think he's uh, JJ though. I think he's more digs. He reminds me a lot of digs. Like he gives me really heavy digs vibes. And then when JJ was out those games with Kirk, man, it was popping off the screen. The dick, bro, it was screaming at me watching them boys, especially when they played the 49ers. Man, like, he gives me so much digs vibes, bro. He does. Like, the only thing, he don't have the off-the-field stuff it don't seem like. He seems like a cool dude, but, or a calm dude. But, yeah, Addison, he really does scream digs at me. I ain't gonna lie. Now, he is a Ricky. I don't want to go too crazy on him, but I really do want to play him in good. I'm putting him good. I think he's been. I think he deserves this tier. I think, I think he deserves this tier. Now, when it, when Kurt got hurt, it's been rough for him. It's been rough for him. Dobbs, he he ain't been. He don't give him the same amount of looks. And yeah, it just kind of just been rough for him. But I think that's kind of just showing how good Kirk was, like as an accurate thrower. I don't think people understand how accurate Kirk is. Like, Kirk is crazy accurate. Like, it just is what it is. Uh, Josh Downs. Um, I think he had a pretty good, solid start to the year. Um, the past few weeks has been a little, it's been all right. Um, I'm gonna put. I think Dobbs is like pretty. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put him up here. But yeah, I think he's like right there. I think he's like right here. I'm chatting with that one. I don't know what the hell I was on. I was chatting crazy with that one. I was chatting. I was chatting. I don't know what was going on. All right, Josh Reynolds. Um, Josh Reynolds been cool. You know I'm saying he been cool. He been crazy. Put him right here. I'm gonna put Jane Reed right here. I feel like I'm. I think I'm going too far with him already. I like him a lot, so that's kind of why I probably was trying to give him that. But I don't know if he did enough yet. This nigga look like he in a movie, bro. Who is this? Nah, who is this? Oh, this is part. This um, this is Jordan Palmer. This Palmer. Um, why is this your pick, bro? What is going on, bro? I ain't gonna lie. Ah, right, this is Drake, bro. Uh, I like Palmer. I actually do like Palmer. Joshua Palmer. Um. Damn, bro, this is tough. This is tough, bro. This is tough. Um, it looking like I probably should have more tears, man, because what the hell? I don't even know if I agree with all these guys being in the same tier, especially Curtis Samuel, uh, Darnell Mooney down, really. I don't know if I agree with all these guys being in the same tier. 
it's just I agree with a majority of these guys not being in the same tier as like the DK, the D Hops, you know what I'm saying? The Calvin Ridley's. I can't do it. I can't do it. But with that being said, I feel like this is like a whole different tier. Once you get to Tay, baby Tay, then it's like a cutoff. And then this one has like a cutoff too. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But Joshua Palmer. I think Josh Palmer's like right here. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Absolutely. That's a weird one to rank. Bro, there's so many more. Oh my God, it's more. Oh my God, it's more. Okay, let's get through these. Uh, Juju. Let's keep moving. Um, JJ. Yeah, J.J. is one of those guys that year, year in, year out, he's going to have a case for the best wide receiver. I think last year, J.J. had the – I think uh, – I would I would argue Reek had the best season last year still. I ain't going to lie. I said that last year. I would argue out of those two. I think Tate was the best wide receiver in the league last year, though. I think he was. Like, I think he was. He had more touchdowns, just as many yards. I think Tate uh, – JJ and Reek was killing it in the yards, though. I think Reek would have had more touchdowns if Tua didn't get hurt as much. If Tua was as healthy this year as he was last year, the offense would be really interesting. But that's not how it happened. It's just kind of what it is. But um, with that being said, JJ, I think JJ, I would take Chase over him. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? But he's obviously, like, you know what I'm saying? He's obviously. Obviously elite. Like, it's just kind of what it is. Uh, just to get some age in here, let me throw bro down. I feel like I'm chatting with this one. I ain't going to lie. Let me throw bro down here. I ain't going to lie. I just felt like it was a, a thumb. You know what I'm saying? Kadarius Tony. I ain't going to lie. One thing I say about Kadarius Tony, though, bro is stupid athletic. I ain't going to lie. Like, bro is stupid athletic. Like, it's crazy how athletic he is. Like, it's actually wild. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's actually crazy how athletic he is. But he got too many different things that's, like, issues. Like, catching the ball, injuries. Just, just I, don't, I don't know. He, I mean, you would think he'd be a way better route runner with how athletic he is with the ball. But, like, he's not like a, I don't know. He don't seem like a crazy route runner. He's not, like, the craziest getting open or anything like that. I don't know. But, um... I feel like I know who this is, but if I don't know for sure, I'm not ranking you. Bro, I'm trying to fit. I was trying to. I thought his name was coming to me. I don't know why I want to say this is the QB DTR, but I don't think that is. I don't think that is. If it is, a hey, that's crazy. But um, Keenan Allen, I think Keenan Allen's had a pretty solid year. I'm gonna throw Keenan up here. I think Keenan actually deserve it. He, 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 I think he deserved it, bro. He's had a pretty solid year. Now, I will say, majority of this beginning year, that's because um, Mike Williams was out and Eckler. Well, Eckler was out, then Mike Williams, and then it was both. You know what I'm saying? And then Eckler came back, and then jo Joshua Palmer and Williams was hurt. So I think a lot of that is to do with that. But, yeah, I think he's been pretty elite this year. Um, I think I think Kenan Allen has been, like, knocking on the door of elite for a couple of years now in terms of, the consistency. He's been elite with the consistency. That's not really debatable. Um, this is a dude I, I mess with, bro. Born. I mess with Born. I'm going to throw Born right here. I think he's right there. Right there. I actually liked Born when he was playing. If he was still playing, I probably would have him in mid. I ain't going to lie, but it what it is. Okay. Okay, the Vikings don't have too many wide receivers. So, I'm going to just guess this is number four, Powell, or this is K.J. Osborne. I've seen K.J. Osborne. This don't look like K.J. Osborne. Ain't going to lie. So, I kind of like Powell, but, like, I can't put you too high, gang. I'm going to just, I'm going to just throw you here. I think this is Chenault. I actually like Chenault. I'm not going to lie. As a running back. But besides that, getting the ball in screens, 
Yeah, we just gonna we just gonna call this like their own little tier, the Panthers tier. You know what I'm saying? I actually like him. I'm putting him above both of them. Um, this is a dude from Atlanta from last year that went to no. This is a dude from Oakland. No, this is from Raiders that went to Atlanta this year. He was getting snaps and touches to start the year. Slow down. I don't remember what his name is. It may be Hodge, but I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. But he's tall. He's like six foot four. You know what I'm saying? He's a good jump ball threat for sure, but um, he's not like a Devontae. He's not Devontae level in my opinion. Jump ball threat. Nigga, I just peeped. I had all these niggas about. All right, nah, nah. Okay, man. We just chat. We chatting with this one. We just chatting with these. I know. Uh, we just, we just, we just chatting now. I don't even know if I believe these. I don't even know if I believe these. I'm gonna lie. Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna put you right there with them. And the list is too big. Okay, hold on. Okay, we back. Um, MVS. It's tough to put any Chiefs wide receiver in mid, to be honest. I don't think MVS has been nearly as good this year as he was last year. I'm going to put him in trash. But I think MVS has been better than any Patriots wide receiver. So I'm going to put him there. Marquise Brown. I thought Marquise Brown was going to have a really good jump when Kyler came back. The opposite happened. He got worse. So... Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm going to put Marquise Brown, though, right there with these two guys. I feel like that's a good grouping. Um, if this is Grant, I'm sorry. I don't know how I'm supposed to rank you when I haven't seen you play. But I'm putting you over the guys that I just... I ain't going to lie. I'm doing Tony dirty. I ain't going to lie. I actually kind of mess with Tony. I don't know why I was on that with Tony. I ain't going to lie. I actually, the other two, no. <laughs> but I actually kind of mess with Tony. Just look at this nigga, though. They just make you want to rank him last. I ain't going to lie. Like, this nigga look crazy as hell, bro. Like, what the hell? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Um, this is Mims from the Broncos. Actually, he had a couple flashes. I ain't gonna lie, but we're gonna throw you. I think he better than Judy. I ain't gonna lie. So we'll throw him there. Miko Harmon. Mm, he's not better than he's not better than him. Shit, I didn't even peep this nigga was over all these niggas. Throw this nigga down here. Um, Michael Gallup. I still... No, nah, I'm not a Michael Gallup believer. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. He cool. He cool. Um, Michael Pittman has had a solid year. I'll say that. He's had a solid year, but I'm not... I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I know people are going to be like, Michael Pittman should be higher. He had this. I don't care, bro. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. But, yeah, I, I like Michael Pippen. Too, but, no, nah, I can't do it. I can't put him over all these guys. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? You can say it's bias. But, again, what I'm going to say, I don't care. I don't care. Okay, Michael Thomas. Um, I mean, he was cool. He wasn't crazy. He wasn't crazy. I put Michael Thomas right there. Uh, this is Wilson from the Cardinals. I mean, what am I supposed to be ranking? I mean, he's he hasn't really done anything, so I'll put I'll put bro like right here. Mike Evans. I'm not gonna lie. If you want to say I'm a hater of anybody on this list, it probably is Mike Evans. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta be honest. It get, it may, if I'm a hater of anybody on this list, it, it may have to be Michael Mike Evans. I'm not gonna lie. This might be the most overrated nigga in the entire association of any sport. I, don't, I was you thought I was gonna say NFL, I, any sport. I ain't gonna lie. You wanna say NBA, whatever football, soccer, whatever league you wanna say. I don't care. This man is so overrated at his position. It's unbelievable. But um, I gotta give him his props, man. He's doing it with Baker Mayfield, another thousand yard. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna throw him right there with uh Chris Godwin. I'm going to be unbiased. I'm going to be unbiased. I'm going to be unbiased. I'm going to throw him at the top of mid. I'm going to throw him at the top of mid. Hey. But he ain't been any good. Okay. He may be good. He may be. I'm looking at D-Boy and good. He may be. He may be in good. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Hey. Hey. 
if I ever hear somebody say, you're biased, you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, if I ever see somebody ever say that again, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I, ain't, I don't know what to tell you. I ain't gonna lie. That hurt me to put him there. That literally hurt me to put him right there. It hurt to put him there. Mike Williams. Uh... Man, man, I love Mike Williams, and I'm not even like a 50-50 jump ball guy, but I've always liked Mike Williams since he was at Clemson, so I kind of think got a little bias there, but I ain't gonna lie, he ain't played, he ain't really played this year, so I gotta put him trash, he ain't played, but he gonna be the type of trash. I literally, I don't want to disrespect, bro. But who the hell? I feel like I know who this is. Nigga, is this a quarterback? Bro, what's going on? I think this nigga is a quarterback and this nigga a quarterback. I ain't gonna lie, I'm putting you at the back because I'm I'm almost sure that he's a quarterback. I may be tripping though. I may be tripping. I ain't gonna lie. Now I know who this is, but I ain't gonna lie. The NFL is the only place you can know where somebody who somebody is and never have seen their face in their in your life. I have literally never seen bro's face in my life. Ever. But yeah, um, he's not good. I ain't gonna lie. It's not really no, much good on this team, Robert receiver wise, besides D Hop. So I'm gonna throw bro here. Nico Collins. Nico Collins has had a pretty solid year. I ain't gonna lie. I like Nico. I like Nico. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm tripping with the Cooper. With the Mari Cooper and the and the Christian Kirk, I'm tripping with that, but I think Nico's been better than both. I think Nico's been better. I may even be tripping with the DK. DK may be right there. That may be how it's supposed to lead. That may be how it's supposed to be right there. Oh no, that feels better. That feels better. I okay, Odell. I think Odell down the stretch is gonna have a pretty. So if you're a fantasy guy, listen. I think Odell's gonna have a pretty solid year to end the year with uh, Mike Andrews being hurt. I think he's gonna be the new like, you know what I'm saying? Not the number one. I think Flowers is gonna be the number one target, but like security blanket. I think I think uh, Odell's gonna be the new security blanket for Lamar, pretty much. But I think Flowers is gonna be that number one option. <laughs> If that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. If you know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying. Yeah. But Odell, I think Odell's been all right. I think it just, like, they kind of have forced, tried to force him getting TDs. So it's kind of made him look a little worse. But when they're not forcing him the ball and he's just getting it, he's looked solid. You know what I'm saying, in my opinion. He's looked solid. So I'm going to say Odell. He even got his little signature, little slant touchdown. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say Odell. I'm going to say Odell been right here, man. I think Odell's been solid, man. Yeah, I think he's been solid. I'm at, The past couple weeks, I'll actually even say he's been right here. I'll even say he's been right there. Like, I don't think he's been as consistent as a Michael Pittman. All right, Michael Pittman, I'm sorry. I can't. I wanted to have you here, but I can't do it, man. I got to disrespect some of the people I really believe in. But, hey, no higher. You're going no higher. I'm just... I, just for the... Just for the sanctity of the of the uh of the um tier list, I ain't gonna lie. If you have a problem with anything in tr trash, I'm not gonna lie. If you think I'm finna have that perfectly, I ain't gonna lie. I don't care, bro. You're in the trash tier, bro. I don't know what to tell you. But I'm gonna try to have the sanctity of the tier list be good from mid and up, cause those are the only guys I really for real care about. I ain't gonna lie. Besides Jaden Reed, I actually mess with Jaden Reed and Amari Douglas. I mess with him too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Okay. Now I ain't even gonna lie to you. Who the hell? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Who the hell is this? Who is this? Who is that? Who is that? Nah, bro. If you can see my face right now, bro, I ain't gonna lie. 
I have no clue who that is. I literally have no. I've been looking at him. I'm. I, I've been. I've been eyeing him the whole time. I don't know who that is. I have no clue who that is. No clue. I wouldn't be able to. You could show me on the, him on the sideline of the game. I would think he a D tackle. Who is that? Who is that? I have no clue. I have no clue. But um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna put you at the back. Puka Nakua. Um. It's tough to say Puka ain't been elite this year, to be honest with you. I think it's tough to say Puka has not been elite. I think it's tough to say Puka hasn't been elite. But I think Puka and Ayuka are on the same tier. If Ayuka is not elite, Puka is an elite. So I'm going to put him here. I think he has been better than Cup. Cup did miss the first couple games with injury and stuff like that. So I got to give Puka that nod. And then even then, some games after that, Puka has been a little bit more consistent. Quentin Johnston, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what y'all saw in Christian, Quentin Johnston, man. Y'all had me fooled. Man, hey, I'm going to just throw him there because he getting enough hate as it is. Hey, man, Eagles, I may have overthought y'all, boy. Who the hell is this? I think it's that fast dude. I think it's the fast obviously that the Eagles got. Don't know his name. Put him back there, though. Randall Cobb still being in the NFL is crazy in 2023. I'm not going to lie. Just think back how long he's been in the league. Like, A-Rod really got you a job, bro. Like, it's crazy. I'm not going to lie. But, um, has this nigga even played? Like, bro, like, let's be for real. Like, do bro even play? Like, I ain't going to lie. Put him here, bro. Put him here. Put him here. I ain't going to lie. How did the Panthers wide receivers get above anybody besides the weakest people in the league? Like, how did they get above anybody? Um, Rasheed Rice. Now, I think, personally, that this is the hope for Patrick Mahomes. If you're a Chiefs fan, this is the hope. Rasheed Rice. Rasheed Rice, from preseason, he wasn't. The, he ain't look like the best wide receiver in preseason for them. I ain't going to lie that. Just, Justin Ross, dude, I thought he was going to be the one for them boys. I ain't going to lie. I thought... I thought it was Justin Ross time. He he missed the whole first year with injuries. I thought it was time. Nah, it ain't time. But I will say Rasheed Rice. Yeah. Yeah, he he him. I like him. I like him a lot. And he's consistent. He's consistent with it. That's one another thing. But I will say I cannot put him too much high, too high, but I'm gonna put him right there. I think he's above Odell and everybody on him. Um Pickens should be higher, but I ain't gonna lie. Pickens, you you kind of let me down. I don't care how bad your offense been. Rasheed, I ain't gonna lie. Rasheed Shahid, I actually like bro. I actually like bro. He's a good deep threat, but he can do a lot of other stuff too. He kind of underrated. The, the Saints don't really utilize him right. I ain't gonna lie. I think he could get more looks with Michael Thomas being out. Because now they really just got him, Olave. That's about it, for real. I mean, Kamara always gonna be an option in the past game. But that's about it for real. So I think Shahid should get more looks now. But yeah, I like Shahid. I'm gonna put Shahid. I'm gonna put Shahid here, bro. I like Shahid. Man, I capped so hard, bro. I I moved bro about now six people. Uh, Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman is a guy I was really high on when he was a rookie. Then last year, I thought he was going to have a good jump. Injuries. Injuries can really ruin wide receivers. I might have to stay, stick the long game with him like I did with Ayuk, but I don't think there's going to be, like, he's not even giving me a glimpse because Flowers looks like he's for sure going to take over. The 49ers never picked a, a wide receiver that I thought was going to take over. I feel like this is like a, if anything, this is a Debo a Debo Ayuk situation where Flowers finna just take it over. I'm not gonna lie. Like I think he's finna just take it over. So Bateman is kinda tough, but I do think Bateman's still mid. I do think he's still mid. It's just yeah, I'll put him right here in between these two. Woods, I ain't gonna lie. I don't I don't even feel like it's right to rank you, bro. Like you've been hurt. When you play, you ain't been crazy. Like I feel like it's it's illegal to rank you for real, but I'm gonna put you here. Cause why not? Romeo Dobbs, I like Romeo Dobbs. He's like a good little uh, 
safety blanket for uh, Jordan Love. When you got a guy like Christian Watson, you need you a safety blanket. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 put you. I'm gonna put you. Yeah, I'm gonna put you right behind Jacoby Myers. I think that's around where you should be. And that's a good spot for you, gang. Um, Rondell Moore, man, I was gonna sit here until I think of his name. Hey, this the least I messed up on names. I ain't gonna lie. I, I deserve a like for that. If I ain't, you ain't like the video by now, I deserve a like for that. I ain't gonna lie. I feel. But yeah, he's like a, a gadget player where like you get it you get him to him early. Open space. You know what I'm saying? He's not one of those gadget do it all guys, but you can you can get to him early, get him in space, blind him up in the backfield, give him some handoffs, you know what I'm saying? Do some dump offs, do some slants, do some drags, all that type of stuff. Give him the ball early, give him space, you know what I'm saying? Be a good play for him. You know what I'm saying? Be a good, he's one of those. Um, I don't like how they was hyping Kyler up so crazy. He was not looked crazy to me at all. Like, the, the team almost got worse. Not even almost. It damn near did get worse with Kyler than it did without him. But I ain't gonna lie, that last game against the Steelers was pretty crazy now I'm thinking about it. I think I'm tweaking. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm tweaking a little bit right now. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I have to catch myself right there because they did just do the Steelers kind of filthy. But the Patriots did the Steelers kind of filthy. So I don't know if that's really much of a brag because I always said the Cardinals was just tanking the whole year. But, yeah. Um, maybe even tweaked on him. Let me put him up here. Maybe even tweaked on him. Yeah, I may have even tweaked on him. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not putting him over the Mario. I'm not putting him over the board either. <laughs> this is Russell Gage, I'm pretty sure. I don't care. Like, I've been doing this for so long, I don't care. Sky Moore is trash. I'm not going to do I'm not gonna do you like the other guys, but he's trash. Stefan Diggs is elite. Diggs has kind of been giving me, he's kind of been rubbing off me bad this year. I don't like what he's been on this year at all, bro. Like, I feel like he got some pretty big drops this year, man, to be honest, as a Bills. I, a, lot of, a lot of the hurt go to uh, Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen deserves a lot of it. I think there's other people that that's quarterbacks deserve as much heat that Josh Allen has got for the mistakes that he's made this year. But we're not going to get into that. We're talking about wide receivers. But for Stephon Diggs to be the mannered guy that he is, and he's made some pretty interesting plays this year. On, uh, um, it's been interesting. But uh, I still think, regardless how you feel about him, he's at minimum here. At minimum. He could go as high as here. But he's going to go here for me. I'm going to put him here. Tank Dale. I think Tank Dell. I think he's there. I think he's about there. I don't think he's been better than Jordan Addison. He definitely ain't been better than Puka, but I think he's been. I think he's been good. I think he's been good. T Higgins. T Higgins is not having a crazy year this year. I'll say T Higgins is. He dealt with injuries and and whatnot. T Higgins hasn't been that crazy though. I'm not gonna lie. I put T Higgins like right here. These guys may be teammates next year. You never know. Um, bro, I'm going to be. Is that P.J. Walker? Tell me that's not P.J. Walker. That has to be P.J. Walker. Bro, are there literally QBs on this? I have no clue who the hell this is. I ain't going to even lie. I think this is that Robert receiver that was from LSU, though. If I'm being honest. No troll. I think this is that Robert receiver from LSU. But I don't know for sure, so I'm just going to move on. Scary Terry. I think Scary Terry been all right. I will say this, is, though. They doing like a they doing like a college-style rod receiver rotation where, like, Scary Terry not in nearly as much as, like, the best of the best rod receivers. Um, 
So I'll say that. But I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna cap, bro. Move Mike Evans' ass down. Put Scary Terry's above Mike Evans. I lie. The hate in me just couldn't see it no more. I couldn't see it no longer. The hate in me was not allowing it. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, this must be Tim Pat. If this is not Tim Patrick, I don't know who it is. I'm just moving on. My nigga, who the hell is this? Who is that? Who is that? Trey, Trey. Um, I was I called bro Trey Brick. Um. Yeah, this is the dude that they, they drafted to replace AJ Brown. Interestingly how that looked uh how that's looking. But yeah. I'ma throw I'ma just throw you somewhere, man. I'm not even gonna lie and act like this is premeditated. I'ma just no way you're worse than Woods. I actually like this dude. I actually like this dude. Um he like the deep threat for the guy for the team. I feel like his role. I, I always said that his role was going to diminish once um, Cup come back, came back. I think that they need to still kind of use him in that role, but they can't use him in that role and Cup be in a slot. So that kind of makes it makes it bad. But I think that's on McVay to kind of use Cup in more situations so that they can use this guy in the way they was using him because that really may it really messes the defense up with the way they was using him early in the year. It gave it made the defense have to like show their show themselves a lot more. To be honest, and they still try to do cup a lot of stuff like that, but it's not really the same because you don't got the speed this dude has. To be honest with you, so yeah, I think he, I think he's mid though. I'm gonna put him right here. I'm gonna put him mid. I think he's been pretty solid to be honest. Um, actually, I'm gonna put him right here with Shahid. Tyler Boyd. I think Tyler Boyd is actually mid though. He's actually mid. Um, Tyler Lockett. Uh, Lockett, you're going right behind Odell. Um, this is the this is the uh, Ricky Rob receiver from the Bears. I actually kind of like him. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him up there with Douglas. I actually like him. I don't think he's better than Douglas, but you know what I'm saying. You gotta get that one off. Uh, Van Jefferson. I early in this joint. I ain't gonna lie, trash is not trash, but I'm gonna be honest. Majority of you niggas, I do believe it's trash. I can't lie, but I'm gonna put you um I'm gonna put you right here with Russell Gage. Who the who the hell is this? Actually, I think I know who that is. Nick, is that Kenny Galladay? Boy, I ain't seen Kenny Galladay in so long. Boy, I know who this is. I know who this is. This is Aguilar. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Kenny Galladay just brought back, <laughs> bro. Kenny Galladay just shot memories into my head for guys. I ain't even gonna lie. He just shot memories into my head for some of these. <laughs> That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy. Nathan, Nathan, it's like it instantly shot in my head who this was. But Nathan Aguilar, yeah, you should have stayed on the Patriots game. Kenny Galladay? Like, bro, come on, bro. Kenny Galladay, bro. <laughs> Be for real, bro. Be for real. Zay Flowers. Um, Let's do Zay Jones first. Zay Jones. He's very important to the Jaguars. I ain't gonna lie. To their offense. Ain't gonna cap. But I'm not putting him too crazy. I'm gonna put him, like, right here. Zay Flowers. I like Zay Flowers. I like him. I'm putting Zay right here. I'm putting him right there. Um, I either don't know who these people are, or I question that they're even a wide receiver. I feel like I know who this is, but again, I don't know his name. I think this is the fast wide receiver for the Eagles, but again, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I know who this is too, but yeah, his name not doing it for me and i don't even know why i would even be ranking a guy of this you know what i'm saying he he plays but like you know what i'm saying like some of these guys don't even have to be on here like it's just throwing people on here at that point i don't know who the hell this is this may be tim patrick if it's not no clue not a true 
I'm pretty sure this is DTR. I, if that's not DTR, my bad. Hey, comments, y'all gonna tell me who those are. But yeah, that's the tier list. Um, Tyreek is the best wide receiver in the league. I think Tay is the best actual wide receiver in the league. But come on, man. Like, Tay's the only, like, out of all these situations, Tay cannot go to the Dolphins and replace what Reek is giving them. Now, could Tay go to Bengals and replace what Jay Chase does? I would say yes. I think he, he I think it's kind of obvious that he could take Chase, replace JJ because Addison did it. And I think Jay, I think Tay is much better than Addison. So, yeah. I think you could really do that with Diggs too. It's just, I don't know. Diggs has kind of been weird this year. I ain't gonna lie. Tay's been weird too with some things too in terms of dropping, but he ain't been like, like, Tay, I feel like Tay should be acting the way Diggs is, and D Tay's acting the way Diggs should be acting, to be honest. Ain't gonna lie, because Tay's doing it. Like, Diggs, you still at least got, like, I know you raging at Josh Allen, but at least you got Josh Allen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness, what Tay dealing with is a damn shame. But, yeah, that's going to be my tier list. Y'all boys want more? Like the video? What you guys want me to rank? Running backs, it could be the pass rushers, it could be the TBs, it could be the line. I don't care. Just let me know. Like, want more? Like the video? Hope you boys like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Brother, do. Boy, fix it. I'm out of here, man. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!